Hi and welcome to back to the basics of the cross. Um, today we're just going to go through a bit of face off and how it is um, and just some techniques to do it. Face off is how you start a game after a goal, beginning of the match, after a quarter, and everything like that as well. Uh, it's a really, really uh, good thing. If you can get his face off, you can sometimes get a fast break and even score a goal straight off it. So it is a really important part. Um, to help me with this is Dom Garcia, one of the guys from Bournemouth Union Cross, who's coming in to help me out. Um, so I'm just going to go through a few of the things you can do, okay? So as Dom sets up, what you need to do is just get to poke the back part of your stick in like this, so the mesh is in there like that, gets it really loud, so that's illegal. You're not allowed to touch the white part, the plastic part of your head, so you have to have your hand just below there. Apart from that, and you have to have your feet inside your hands. So inside, so you're not allowed your foot up there, your foot needs to be inside your hands like this. Okay, there's different ways to set up. You set up with your right foot forward like that, your left foot forward like that, loads of different ways you can set up like this, almost heavy on your hands, um, like that, okay? A few, few things to do, okay? There's um, three major ones. There's the jump, the clamp, and the break, all right? Push. Like that. This is a clamp. Like that. This is a jump. Different form of the jump. Uh, it's called the punch. You can punch that stick like that. Make sure you get your fist nice and in there. And you can normally get your stick up and away then. Okay. Um, but then we'll move on to the rake. Uh, what a rake is good for is quite like uh, people like me. I'm quite sure, quite short, quite fast, quite nimble. I want to get this ball out of the out of this contact zone here. So I know I'm not going to win against Dom. He's bigger than me. He's probably a bit stronger than me. So I want to get the ball out and away from him. Okay. So what another thing I can do here. It's what's called the rake or the push. Um, the, the rake or the push. So one thing, if Dom's clamping, he's just going to come over the ball like that. What I might do then is turn my stick the backwards way and just try to flick it out that way, like that. So if, it, if that bit of last motion is like that, okay? Just turn that stick nice and away and just getting it away from this contact zone there. So that I can Dom, I can pick go up, get a ground ball, and get a fast break there, okay? So it's a bit there like that. And all you're going to do is go like that, twist it like that. Also, um, if, if Dom's going to jump me, so if Dom's going to try and jump, come over my stick like that, what I might do is that one. So if Dom tries to jump me then, he's going to jump me, and I'm going to push over like that, okay? So the ball goes over that way. All right, so the stick's like that, and when he comes to the jump, just push through like that, okay? So that again is a jump beats a clamp, a clamp beats a rake, and a rake beats a jump. All right. So they all they all have their they all have their pros and they all have their cons as well. Um, so you can either do the clamp, the jump, or the rake. One thing I might do is when he's when we start off, I'm just going to jump across him like this, get my whole stick like that, across him like that. What I might do then is try and push him out of the way, get a good position over the ball. As you see here, I'm better over the ball than Dom is, and then I, I can either come back, rake it back out that way, or I can use my stick or something like that. Or I can go like that or push it back with my. The, 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 the,